morning dear friends oh how lovely this day is greetings in the name of the lord jesus christ as you begin your day give a few minutes and listen to the voice of god now we have been meditating this experience of uh, the prophet elijah uh, where he was fed by a raven near a brook and uh, we have been meditating about this incident and um, today let me meditate with you the third thing that we can meditate you well remember the passage and what is happening yes certainly elijah met a widow with her son as he, he arrived at sarapath but her circumstances seemed to be contradicting the command of the lord she didn't look like a woman with uh, enough resources but we are told here that uh, elijah's request of bringing a small bread to him first before they make for themselves ani now here we see the next thing for us to notice her obedience she went and did whatever the elijah the prophet the man of god told her now notice this one thing she neither had precedent nor example for such an act for such a hope there was never an incident recorded anywhere for her to remember and be encouraged and do she obeyed absolutely by faith not knowing what was going to happen because the word of the lord to elijah was that she will feed you throughout the famine time but she had faith in the word and in the power of god and when we serve god with the whatsoever we have it keeps increasing and so keep your cake and perish but share your cake and live abundantly no obedience causes increase obedience causes multiplication of the blessings by which you may live the rest of your life many people hesitate to do what the bible tells us because we allow our own reasoning and our own limited mind and we make our own conclusion how it is going to be possible like the disciples and uh, probably in, in our next meditation on next tuesday we will make it very clear how it is it is just going to work this kind of action she never had an example to follow that such a thing will happen but she believed in god and his power and believed that god can do anything so she confidently did 
what the man of God, the prophet Elijah said, told her. Let us not hesitate to doing something for which we may not have an example to follow, but our eyes should be on God and have a faith in his power. And the God's power can the God, God's power can do what man's power can cannot do. With that kind of faith, move forward. And by faith, do the impossible. And at the end, we see marvelous things happen there. The fulfillment of God's promise. The value of sharing. This woman gave one meal to the prophet. You are listening carefully. God fed her and her son and for her entire family members, other family members, for two full years abundantly, including the prophet Elijah. That is the value of sharing at God's word. And I pray that we learn this beautiful lesson. Obedience causes increase. Obedience causes a miracle. Obedience will enable us to see a miracle is blossoming right in front of us. And I pray that you will not hesitate next time you are faced with similar situation. A God of Elijah is still the same for God's people in the New Testament. He has not changed. He is able. And so I pray that this day you may experience a miracle. If you are troubled, if you say, nothing is left for me and I am ready to die. No. That will happen only when God says nothing else is worth for you. God's word is the final verdict. Not yours or not even your doctor's. Doctors are good people. They don't tell you lies. They, whatever they told you is true. That they did everything they could, but now there is no hope. So don't criticize doctors. But then we have a doctor of doctors above. He's watching you. He's seeing you. And he has the answer while the world does not have. And so while thousands and thousands were dying in Israel during Elijah's time because of the famine, no rain, here is a poor widow with a son ready to die. Listen to the man of God and his word. And she shared her cake and she lived abundantly. The value of sharing. And with your obedience will cause that miracle to happen for you. For God is still the same. Trust this God. God bless you. Let your day be a brighter than yesterday. As we come to the end of the day, you have a lot of things to praise God and thank God for. Holy Spirit of God, we thank you for speaking to us today. And as we meditate further these events, 
may our own faith rise up and we will dare to do the impossible at your command according to your word and experience the impossible thank you amen god bless you my friends have a good day and a victorious day amen